Yeah, hi there. Um, just in my little cabin, doing some handiwork, and all making a small uh, break. And I thought I could just do a short video uh, about Lord of the Rings. So, and that's I want to talk about Lord of the Rings tobacco. Uh, but I also have a Lord of the Rings pipe, and uh, this is this nice piece I don't know if the camera gets this properly done oh this is this is a pipe uh, from the German company Fowen so they they produce this yeah let's say original whatever that means uh, pipes uh, of Lord of the Rings so they got a contract and uh, the license to do that and they were a pretty uh, expensive uh, that's the, the Gimli one I think that's the shortest I just I just like that so um, there are other models uh, like uh, Gandalf and uh, Bilbo I think and so on so um, and then uh, today they don't produce that anymore they produce another pipe and they call it Auenland so Auenland is the German translation uh, of the Shire in Lord of the Rings but Auenland the German expression Auenland uh, has some other connotations than um, the Shire Auenland that means meadow land so this is a special kind of landscape so in, in German uh, Auenland is uh, the connotation is very strong with yeah that's some kind of everything is all right some sweet country some nice landscape and so on that's a very positive uh, connotation so maybe I think uh, the translation uh, Auenland maybe fits better than the Shire so Okay, uh, and um, today, the, because of the film Lord of the Rings and uh, The Hobbit and so on, um, everyone here thinks if he hears Auenland, he think, okay, Lord of the Rings. So um, that was an that was an, an intelligent thing to do, that to produce these pipes without license, I think, and just to call it Auenland because it's. In German, it means nearly the same than Lord of the Rings, so uh, everyone think uh, of Lord of the Rings. So, and um, on the market, I think there are, I just know, two tobaccos um, of Lord of the Rings. So, one is uh, an American tobacco uh, that's uh, done by McClelland, and that's Deep Hollow. So, show you that. I hope you can see. So there's a nice picture here on the tin. So you see, I got it imported. I got it from Swiss, so that's US tax ex exempt. So, but I don't want to talk about that tobacco. This is a good tobacco. Um, there's some woody notes. Um, I think it's a bit like uh, Virginia Woods, uh, but some kind milder. So Deep Hollow, I think, is a village. Um, uh, is a village uh, in the Shire, I heard. I think so. Um, so the second one is uh, made by the German company Fauen. So that's the same company uh, that's producing these, these pipes. Um, and they also call it Auenland. So and, you see, when I, when I show you the tin, ah, let's get this done. Um, I hope you can see that. So. Perhaps you see, uh, there's also, you know, the very lovely land landscape, and it's called Auenland, the Shire. So that's very clear uh, that they uh, they're making a link to uh, Lord of the Rings. So uh, what is inside? Um, they say I'm going to translate that. It's in German. Uh, Virginia tobaccos uh, with different shadowings. 
and some uh, different cuts. It's uh, delicately rounded with black Cavendish and there's some burley also in it. Fruity aroma so of juicy oranges and sweet pies. Yeah, so it should be delicately. So this very smooth mixture, excellent mixture uh, and burns easily. Or burns perfect they say. So yeah, I show you the tobacco of course. I'll turn it in my mouth. So all right. oh there's nothing special uh, to it. Uh, you'll see the Virginia parts, some black Cavendish, some burley. So, how does it uh, smell? Extremely sweet. Um, it is a heavy aromatic. And um, yeah, I think they are right. There are some notes of uh, oranges and, um, and peaches. So, what? I have to admit. It smells very delightful, very, yeah, perhaps you know that at the heavy, with the heavy aromatics, there are, there are sometimes heavy aromatics, you just want to eat them, so, yeah, that's the case here. So, and, um, yeah, the taste, uh, I think the taste, for me, if you, if you like heavy aromatics, the taste is really good. So there's nothing that bites you. Uh, the quality of the tobacco I think is pretty well. Um, yeah, I think everything fits together. So yeah, it's I think a, a delicate smoke. So and burns easily. Um, yeah, there's nothing complicated to it. I think the price is 12 euro. That's um, expensive, okay, but it is really a good tobacco. So, uh, this said, there's one last question. Mm. Do the hobbits really smoke heavy aromatics? So, I don't know. If I remember at least the film, Lord of the Rings, correctly, when the hobbits, they found a small batch of tobacco, um, look to me like large uh, Virginia leaves, bright large Virginia leaves, so <laughs> I don't know. On the other hand, uh, Auenland in Germany, the connotation, uh, it's connotated with, um, yeah, with, with sweetness, so in Germany the expression is lieblich, lieblich, so a landscape can be lieblich, but lieblich means also some kind of sweet if it comes to wine for example a wine that's lieblich that means it's sweet so if you think about that then it's okay to have a heavy aromatic for the Auenland maybe yeah maybe another company perhaps Samuel Gavitt or whoever uh, they could have done a natural one uh, that's would always fit, uh, or what would also fit uh, the Auenland or the Shire or Lord of the Rings. So maybe some Latakia uh, flake uh, for Mordor. I, I don't know, but <laughs> yeah, that's uh, yeah, that's my opinion. Try to get yourself one and um, share your thoughts, whatever you think, and have a nice pipe with the Lord of the Rings or without it uh, doesn't matter and yeah have a nice day and perhaps see you again